Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make 150mm artillery for Foxhole. Follow along on my guide and my tips and you will know how to most effectively make 150mm artillery for you or your smaller group. First I would recommend you to choose a hex with a lot of sulfur so you don't have to travel as much. I recommend reaching trails for wardens and great march for colonials this war. Note this is under war or 108. You are going to need three different resources to make the artillery. The first one is scrap and the second one is sulfur. These things will be needed for most things like ammo and other miscellaneous things. You are also going to need to have components in order to make the cannon itself and trucks to transport the cannon and ammo. I am currently looking for a place in order to get scrap and sulfur. You could either use mines to get these resources or fields where you have to mine and lay by yourself. I would recommend mine since they are magic and just require you to go there. I am now pulling up towards a scrap mine. I will gather the scrap here and then head my way. As you will see there weren't enough so I am going to travel to another place to see if I can find some more. I now come up to a place where there were both scrap and sulfur. But I am going to prioritize the sulfur because that is generally a rare resource. I am going to gather the sulfur from the mine and then I will travel back and now coming up to a city where you can process the materials that we have scattered. The scrap will become BMATS and the sulfur will become heavy explosive. Start by finding a refinery and open it to make the materials into the desired one you want. During the time when the resources are in the refinery baking up, I would recommend you to go out and gather more scrap and more sulfur. I would also recommend gathering components, but we'll get to that. Now, after gathering the resources, I would take them out of the refinery. It's highly suggested that you use a dune track for your own first time. We will go to a uh, you can produce it in a factory, but I would generally suggest the mass production factory that tends to cheaper. We will go there. We will open the factory. Go under this factory, which is ammunition. Just click as many as I can produce. I would generally suggest you producing on the nines because then you so much to cheap. Yes, and then click. Now, now, now you have to wait for this to get ready. As you can see, one hour and forty minutes, roughly one hour and forty minutes. In the meantime, you could be gathering new resources, or you can be producing everything else you will need. You are also going to need, in order to do this, you're going to need some, going to need some binoculars. You obviously, you are going to need some. You're going to need shovels to dig the entrenchment for artillery. You need binoculars for the spotter and a hell radius in a helper, helper for transport. So you will start making those. Then, once everything is made, you now have now produced basically every single piece of the puzzle. The last thing we are needing is an artillery gun. You can produce them in a mass production facility. Like right here. Since we're making 150mm, this is what we're gonna need. We are gonna need 525 refined materials. To get refined materials, you need to go to a component field. Which we will go now. I'm now standing here at the component mine. These components will be needed to convert it into R mats or refined materials which is going to be needed for the flatbed which is going to be needed to transport the gun and ammunition and you're also going to need some refined material to make the gun itself. This is going to take some time so enjoy this time. <laughs>
Now when we have gathered these components, we are going to head back to refinery to refine these components into our mats. Now we are pulling up to the refinery and we are going to process these components into our mats. Instead of making the cannon and the flatbed in a factory way, we are now gonna go and build them ourselves. Start by going to a garage and make the flatbed. Then we will go to a construction yard and make the cannon. Since it's still early in the war, I can't show you how to make the cannon, but I'm still gonna do my best to explain it where to go and where to do. I'm gonna upload a video later on how to make it. We have not done everything except collect our things from the factories, so we go do that, and now we're done.